snake number three of the Serpent mm -hmm. Center top ten favorite animals, of course, is the King Cobra. Coming up. in your face. Subscribe now. Hey, we are on snake number three of the Serpent Center's top ten favorite animals. And what do y'all think it is? <laughs> You've seen the thumbnail, so you know it's a King Cobra. But King Diesel is due for a feed today, and it's always a challenge feeding him because I'm feeding him rats now, and he's too smart for his own good. So I got to scent the rats with a mouse. <laughs> or another snake but he's doing pretty good so we're gonna go ahead and get busy and get King Diesel out here to show his butt a little bit for y'all okay we're gonna try to lure King Diesel out here in front of the camera to get his rat no buddy you gotta come down a little bit and get in frame and look at him oh you gonna take it come on buddy hey let's try to present this on the ground and see if he gets Oh, look at that. First try. That a boy. <laughs> Listen to them in there huffing. You know, King Cobras are one of the few snakes that actually growl. They growl like a dog. We had a big one in one of our old facilities, and we could hear them growling from the next room. <laughs> King, King Diesel is in full effect today. And it's taken me some work to get him to eat rats, let me tell you. He's too smart for his own good sometimes. Okay, Diesel, eat your rat. Let's see if we can move the camera a little closer. We can get Diesel swallowing a little bit. There we go. Listen to him, D. He's getting big. He's he's a little over eight foot now. <laughs> he's eating small rats like popcorn now. And we started him on mice and small snakes, and he got so used to the smell of mice that he didn't want to eat a rat. So I had to go ahead and start scenting rats with the smell of a mouse. <laughs> so <laughs> if that makes any sense to y'all, but King Cobras are very scent driven. They are very, very smart and they're they're an intelligent animal and they got a mind of their own. If they decide they don't like something, they don't like it. And you gotta, gotta trick them to eat something else. But you gotta get them eating rodents because if you run out of snakes, what are you gonna do, right? What your snakes just gonna go without eating? And I think it's healthy for them to eat rodents too. I mean, in the wild they're eating snakes that eat rodents, so they're kind of getting both. And Diesel gets a snake once a month, and then he gets rats in between. Well, we're going to let him take that one down, and we'll pop the camera back on when he gets up here and starts investigating the camera and hooding up. Yeah, we can see Diesel's just about made short work of that first rat. Paul Gretsch, there's your ward, brother. Paul Gretsch is, is Diesel's sponsor. And he's also sponsoring Diesel's exhibit build. So Diesel's getting a very nice, large, very pimped out exhibit. I better get another rat ready because he's going to come up here in a bad mood if I ain't got one for him. There you go, buddy. What do you think there, buddy? Oh, he's like, I think I want to, I think I want to look at the camera, huh? <laughs> that is one nosy little King Cobra. <laughs> hey, your rat's right here, big guy. Hey, come on, get in screen, dude. Oh, he's grabbing it off screen, y'all. <laughs> Hey, 
And this is a, a temporary cage for diesel till his exhibit is built. His exhibit will be very large. He'll be able to climb and have a lot of range to, to roam around in. What's the name growling in there? Heavy breathing. Now he's gonna have to turn that loose and start at the right end, which he'll figure it out. Or he may just try to swallow it backwards. Normally he'll turn them loose and find the head and start from the head. Right, but messing with me, Will. He's at that size now where when they reach that eight, eight foot mark, they start bulking up. You notice he's starting to get a little bit of weight to him. When he hits that 10 foot mark, that's when I'll get him eating turkey necks and bigger snakes and bigger rodents. And that's when we'll really start blowing him up big and put some real size on him. He'll be at 12 foot Malaysian King Cobra here in the next, the next year and a half, two years. They grow pretty rapidly. Okay, and this is what we do with the scenting and diesel. <laughs> Got a little baby crocodile. And he's a wild animal. Look at him. <laughs> that a boy. He's getting big too. That's our little guy. My sweet little crocodile isn't a sweet little crocodile no more. He's turned into a little demon. <laughs> that is a little Mexican crocodile. It's a Morlet's crocodile. And you can see He's not a nice little boy no more. All right, you can see Diesel swallowed his rat backwards, but he did swallow it. <laughs> and I always give him the opportunity to come up here and check out the camera. He likes to look at the camera. <laughs> hey, nosy boy. All right, big guy. <laughs> Diesel boy. <laughs> but, that's a good meal for him. Two small rats. And in about four or five days, he'll get two more small rats. But Diesel is growing. Paul, your ward is getting big. But that's our little King Cobra, King Diesel. <laughs> he is a nosy little burger. Hey y'all, so what do you think about Diesel? He's a piece of work, ain't he? Look at him. As soon as I turn my back to him, he tries to get me. And that's what King Cobras do. You don't turn your back to a king, okay? Because they're that smart. But anyways, hey, thank you so much to all of our contributors. If if you want to sponsor an animal, if you want to sponsor a build, email us. Um, we're trying to get our exhibit open by the middle of January. If you want to buy a brick, $10 buys you a brick, you'll be part of the Serpent Center forever. Oh, look at him. <laughs> He's a sneaky little boy, ain't he? Hey, thank you guys so much. Hey guys, just a quick one tonight. Um, actually, we were up till five in the morning doing the, the other one. <laughs> the previous video, the Island Piper video. If you're new to the channel, hit that V-Logo thing and subscribe now and come on and check us back at the Serpent Center. And hey, thank you to everybody that has been contributing to our build. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. This is Willie from Venom Central. We're checking out. Later. <laughs>